Today we're going to be talking about what happens to the soul of an animal or your beloved pet when that pet dies. Hi, my name is Danielle McKinnon. I am an animal communicator. That means animal psychic. That means that I talk to animals that have crossed over as well as animals that are here psychically connecting in with them, using my intuition as my everyday job. I want to share with you what the animals have shared with me in all of those communications. Specifically, I want to talk about what really happens to the soul of an animal when that animal dies. First of all, what you need to know is that everything that I'm going to share with you is from the point of view of the animal in my intuitive connections with the animal. This isn't something I heard somewhere. This isn't something I read in a book. This isn't something that some teacher taught me. It's what the animals have shown me again and again in my connections with them. So I can't give you proof because I have not died and come back to tell you what it's all like. I can only tell you what the animals keep telling me. So the first thing that you need to know about the soul of an animal is that even when the animal is in their body during their lifetime, they are very connected to their soul. Their soul comes with them when they embody into this lifetime. When they've completed their journey here, meaning they've completed teaching whatever they came here to teach in their animal bodies, and they decide that it's time to cross over, and yes, they do decide, and I have a whole video on that as well coming soon, so be sure to check for that. When they do decide that they're going to cross over, there is a whole process that happens because the spirit and the soul need to disconnect from the body. So it's kind of interesting the physical process, and that's all I'm gonna talk about here is the physical process that occurs. So in this physical process, there needs to be, we've got a, an animal, an animal body here, right? And then we've got the soul and the spirit, in, you know, enmeshed together. And what has to happen is those two need to disconnect so that the physical body can die and the soul and the spirit can continue on as they're going to continue on. So what actually starts happening is we've got this physical body and the spirit slash soul, I'm calling them the same thing because they're really intertwined in this process, actually starts to back out of the bum <laughs> of the animal <laughs> for um, in order to start releasing from the physical body. So when I connect with an animal that is perhaps, that's about to cross over or is getting ready to cross over, what I can see, and this is what I teach my students to see as well, is the physical body and there will be like an outline of the spirit part way in the body depending on how far along in the crossing over process the animal is. So the spirit, kind of backs out of the bum and you can kind of see this as it goes all the way along. So even right before the animal actually crosses over, you could see often a little bit of that energy still in the physical body um, using intuition. Once that spirit actually releases from the body and sometimes this comes with a, a big energy push, meaning um, euthanasia, for example, if you are uh, getting help from the vet to help your pet cross over, some animals will go through a big uh, resistance and they'll start kind of, um, they'll start kind of freaking out and going crazy and uh, that is the energetic push that is sometimes needed to get the spirit right out of the body. Once the spirit actually does detach from the body, what happens is now the body can die the spirit is still there. The soul is still there. It's all intact. And what's really cool about this is I've had um, plenty of times when I've connected with an animal and I've asked them about their passing and then they've actually shown me, it's so cool, from above looking down on the moment of their passing um, and I'll be able to, to share that picture with the person who's coming to me for the reading. So I'll say, okay, I see you sitting there. I see this person here with this kind of hair. There's a sofa here. You know, I'll describe the whole, the whole thing. And it's because the animal's soul is actually giving me the information about what happened during their crossing, that they're aware of the whole thing. I recently did a reading where, um, the the animal crossed over and the guy 
took a long walk after. And I didn't understand what the animal was showing me, but he showed me, all I knew was I kept saying, all right, I see you. He crossed over, this was at the vet's office. The, the dog crossed over and then you were upset and you left uh, the room and you walked out of the room. And I'm seeing this all from up above. So I'm, I'm describing it to the guy about what the animal is saying happened. And you walked and you walked and I'm seeing you and you're continuing to walk down this road. And you know, I'm describing all this stuff that's happening. But again, almost like I'm on an airplane and it's because it's the animal's soul that's still connected to us, giving me, me the information. So when you are wondering what happens, yes, the soul and the physical body need to detach, but we are still connected to those animals from the, even once they cross over, they're still watching over this us, they're still aware of us. They're even right in the moment of crossing, seeing what's going on. So even if your animal crossed over and you're, you, oh, I didn't get to say what I wanted to say and you said it afterwards, there is no afterwards. The animal's there. The animal's getting it. The animal's listening and hearing you. So hopefully that helps you understand a little bit more about what happens when the animal dies to the animal soul. All right, thanks.